While the Women's College World Series has continued to grow bigger and brighter over the last several years, it's been hard to overlook the noticeable absence of the state's two largest schools. In 2011, for the first time ever, Oklahoma and Oklahoma State have both advanced to the final field of eight. In the process, the Sooners and a seven-year drought will be looking for their first national title since the year 2000. Um, it means a lot to bring the program back here, and we know that they've been waiting a while just to get back here. We hear it from the fans, coaches every day, and so it, just, it means a lot to be able to be the team to finally break the drought. We've had some tough go in the way of getting to Super Regionals and having some tough draws and some tough luck, but that's the way it is. That's the way it works, and you have to learn to work through that. Um, I just can't say enough about this team who probably was not predicted to get there because of a lot of reasons and adversity, but uh, they fought through it and could not be more pleased about their performance and, and earning a right to be here. So it's um, been great for our program, for our fans. Uh, I know there's a lot of excitement in the air right now. Excitement is a word you hear a lot from OSU, the lowest ranked team in the field, the Cowgirls are making their seventh appearance in the Women's College World Series, but haven't been here since 1998. We're very excited. Um, I think we worked really hard. Um, every, you know, freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors. It's pretty exciting when everyone isn't ready for the season to be over, and uh, that's how all of us are. We go out there every day during practice, and so excited, and we worked really hard to get here. So uh, we're just really excited. Yeah. We went through the Big 12, and we got beat up a little bit and took some knocks, and, but they never quit. They never stopped practicing. And for them to go out every day and look at the outfield wall with the College World Series banners that we have and the, you know, the, and the players that are on our wall with Michelle Smith and the other Olympians, Lauren Bay and Melanie Roche, you know, for them to be able to put themselves on that wall, I think it's, it's really special and exciting for them. And, it, and they're, they're very, you know, they have a lot of pride with that, and that they'll always be able to come back and look at that. So all the action gets started on Thursday. Oklahoma State will take on Baylor at 2.30 in the afternoon. Oklahoma will take on number one seed Arizona State at 6 p.m. Reporting from Hall of Fame Stadium, Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports.